How's it going guys? I'm Robbie Herrera and today I'm going to give you a product review about independent trucks. And what independent trucks are, they are going to come on a skateboard, they usually come on each side, usually buy them in two pairs, and they're going to take the impact of the force when you're skating on the ground. So anyways, let's get into it. Independent trucks are usually found with this logo right here. Um, it's on each set of the base plates, or they'll have a little independent, like they'll say independent on one of these sides and then truck company on the other. And uh, independents have been around in the game for about the longest time. Uh, they have been around since the evolution of skateboarding. They're favorited by like many pros, many people ride for their team, and that influences me to skate them. Also because they are the most durable trucks I've ever had. I've had other trucks like Thunder, Crux, um, tensors and they just do not hold up as well as independents do. So right here is the top of the independent truck. This is what you're grinding on, like you're jumping on rails, you're getting on your ledges, you're just you're really going to tear these up the most whenever you're trying to grind. And it is important that these don't wear down as fast because you don't you want a truck that's going to like that's going to last you a little bit longer. You want a truck that's going to last you a good amount of time because they're usually $25 a piece and not a lot of people like to replace them. But anyway, so usually you'll see these get grinding down, and I've had these specific ones for about a year and a half now, something like that, and they are still in fairly good condition. Like, if they weren't like two different sizes, I would still be skating them to this day, and probably for another good year. So that's important, and so they're durable on top, they don't get grinding down as easily when you skate on them, and to me that's a big, that's a big issue, because I skate on them a lot. I skate almost year round, every other weekend, and I want a truck that's going to last me, personally, for about two years. I don't want to replace them all the time. I've had these for about six months, and they are still brand new. Like, no one skated on them. They look like they've just been torn out of the packaging, so... It's pretty good. Also, all trucks come with a base plate. Base plates are important. This is seriously where all the impact is going to go. Um, when you're jumping down anything, popping your tricks, getting on the ledges, getting on the rails, so you don't want these things to break. And on other trucks I've found that these will crack, and when they crack you have to replace the whole truck. You cannot just buy this one plate. But anyway, so a base plate, you don't want them to crack. Like You want them to last a long time. You were, you were expecting a truck that is made to take impact should be able to last you a good amount of time. Independents are gonna last you for that extra amount of time. They don't crack. I've never came with that issue. Um, that's about it guys. If you guys ever want to get a truck for a skateboard, not a longboard, for a skateboard, and these are going to be the way to go. They're 100% skateboarding, 100% backed by skateboarders, and have been around the longest. They're the OG skateboard trucks. So yeah, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this review video, and I'll be sure to see y'all in class.